Hello and welcome to competitiongurus.com. In today's class, we are going to discuss about some 3D figures, which is under our mensuration topic of uh, QA. In one of our earlier classes, we covered about 2D figures, which in which we talked about uh, a circle, square, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezium, rhombus, parallelogram. In those 2D figures, I have told you about how to find their perimeters and their areas. You can always go through that video if you have some doubt about 2D figures. In today's video, we will be talking about 3D figures. So which are some of our 3D figures? And all remember all these figures are our regular 3D symmetric figures. So our first figure is a cube. Then we will be talking about a cuboid, then a cylinder, a cone, hemisphere and a sphere. Let us see all these figures one by one and take our very first figure, cube. See in 3D, when we study mensuration, there are two things which we have to see. One is surface area and other is volume. So in a problem you will be either asked to find surface area or the volume of the given body. So in case of a say cube, what will be the surface area? See this is the surface area of one face of a cube. This is surface area of another face. This is surface area of another face. And we have six such faces in a cube. I hope you know that a cube is made up of six square faces. Each of these faces is a square. That's why it is a cube. And suppose this length from here to here is A. One side of this square is A. Then what will be the surface area of this square? It will be A square. And how many faces we have? Such faces? We have six faces in case of a cube. So the total surface area of this cube will be 6a square. Right? That is, you know, you may be asked a question if you have to paint this cube and this is how the painter is charging. He will be charging you on uh, per square unit basis. So if this is the area, if this is the side of uh, uh, one cube that will be given to you, then how much is it going to charge? We will be taking those all examples also later on. Uh, but right now, we will be talking only about the conceptual part. So that is the surface area of the cube. The next thing, volume. Suppose this cube was hollow, then how much air or water or anything else and which I put into it, how much can it contain? That is the volume of the cube. So volume of the cube is, please remember, it is a cube. Length of one side and you take cube of that and you get volume of the cube. So remember in case of a cube, 6A sphere, surface area, we are talking of all the 6 sides and a cube is the volume. So in some cases, it may be open from top, then please use your common sense and change this 6a square to 5a square, right? Or suppose it is open from bottom also, there is no top, there is no bottom, then it will be, surface area will be 4a square. Do not put 6a square blindly everywhere. Remember, this is a square, so 6 faces make it 6a square. Now we take our next figure. Our next figure is a cuboid. So what is the difference between a cube and a cuboid? In a cube, all the three dimensions, one dimension, second dimension, and third dimension, they are all equal, but not so in case of a cuboid. This length is different, it may be different, it may be different. 
so we call it as length breadth and height so in case of a cuboid what will be my surface area if this is a and say uh, this is b then surface area of this particular surface will be a to b it is just like finding the surface area of a rectangle area of a rectangle right in case of a cube it was square but in case of cuboid it is a rectangle so the surface area of this one face will be ab and what about the face opposite to this face area of that face will be also be ab so i can say ab plus ab and suppose this third dimension is how much say this is c so what will be the surface area of this face it will be c multiplied by b this is b so this will also be b and you have a similar face on the opposite side so it will be cb plus cb and then we have another face this face so what are its dimensions this is c this is a so its surface area is ac and same face you have at the bottom also so if you add that that is also ac so what do you get here 2 ab plus bc plus ac that is the surface area of a cuboid okay next we have to find out the volume so how much will be the volume here in case of a cube if you remember two minutes back what did we say it is a cube so here since a it is not a everywhere it is a b and c so volume will be a b c cubic units so if if these are given in meters then it becomes a b c cubic meters or centimeter in whatever unit it is given not forget to put your units so this was our cube and cuboid now our next figure it is a cylinder i'm not very good at drawing and i don't like to use uh, computer animation so you will have to live with this bad bad drawing of mine so i have tried to show a cylinder here you will have to use lots of imagination so what happens in case of a cylinder again we have to find two things one is surface area other is volume volume we will take later on surface area means what if it is a cylinder then it has let's see that this face will be a curved face so i call it as curved surface area plus i have a circle here if i look at it from top i will find that it is a circle here so i'll have to take area of this circle plus area of the circle at the bottom so in case of a cylinder i have to take three area one is the curved surface area one is the area of cylinder uh, circle at the top one is the area of circle at the bottom so what is the formula for this curved surface area it is given by in case of a cylinder 2 pi rh what is r what is h r is the radius of this cylinder 
this is r and what is h h is the height of this cylinder okay so 2 pi r h is the area of the curved surface and then depending upon whether i have to calculate area of the top and bottom also if only top is given then i add pi r square to it this being the area of this circle plus if the bottom is also given if that is also to be calculated then i add another pi r square so don't get confused that what is the right formula for a cylinder it all depends on what you have to calculate if it is only the curved surface then this 2 pi r h if it is the top also it has to be included then it is pi r square if the bottom is also to be included then another pi r square of course in that case pi r square plus pi r square it becomes 2 pi r square and i can take 2 pi r common here and i take h plus r and set to like this so 2 pi r into r plus h square units is the total surface area of the cylinder in case you have to include both the top and the bottom and the formula will change accordingly if you do not have to include either the top or the bottom fine so this was about surface area another thing which we have to do here is to find the volume of the cylinder what is the volume of the cylinder it is given by pi r square h cubic units area is written in terms of square units and volume is written in terms of cubic units r you know h you know of course you know pi for our calculation purpose we take it as 22 by 7 right okay after cylinder we have our next figure as a cone this is my cone this is the height of my cone and from here to here this is the radius of my cone again two things surface area and volume let us talk about surface area first surface area of this curved part you know by now this area of this cone will be curved one and if you if you look at it from bottom it is a plane surface area so what about this surface area formula is given by pi r l You know by you know uh, what what is L here? I have not mentioned L anywhere here. What is L here? L is the slant height of this cone. This dimension, this measurement from here to here. This is L. And in most of the cases, L will not be given, and you will have to calculate it using the Pythagoras theorem. I hope you remember what is Pythagoras theorem. For those of you who have forgotten, hypotenuse square is equal to in a right angle triangle. Hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. So I use this to calculate L here. So L is equal to if I take L as the hypotenuse, then this is radius, this is height. So this is equal to R square plus L square. this is how you calculate l and this is how you calculate curved surface area of a cone but we have another surface also here so in case this is also to be included then you add pi r square to it got it surface area of a cone pi r l plus pi r square 
if the bottom is also to be included, if it is the demand of the question. Otherwise, if you only have to find the top surface area, then that is pi RL. Now next thing, volume of this cone. In case of a cylinder, our formula was pi r square h. In case of cone, it will be 1 by 3 pi r square h cubic units. Please remember this. Okay. So what is our next figure here? Now we are left with sphere and a hemisphere. Mm, if I can show it, cut section of a hemisphere. So a hemisphere will, will be almost like this. is a hemisphere and if I complete it like you have a ball that is a sphere. So here we have two formula. One is surface area in case of sphere it will be 4 pi r square and you know r, r is the radius from the center. To this edge 4 pi r square. This is the surface area of a sphere. What about volume? Volume will be 4 by 3 pi r cube. While doing question, we will also be taking questions of hollow spheres and hollow hemispheres. Formula is same, you just have to apply it in a different way. And what about the hemisphere? In case of hemisphere, your surface area becomes 2 pi r square, that is this surface area. And of course, if you have to include this circle also, then you have to add another pi r square here. And what about volume? Volume is 2 by 3 pi r cube. So these figures are just half of your sphere. In the next video, we will be taking examples of solving these different uh, questions based upon 3D figures. Before that, I want you to ensure that you go through these uh, final points, you remember all the formula very well. Only then we will be taking up the questions part. Otherwise, there is no point in doing questions if you don't remember your formula. Okay, thank you very much.